So, we are back on farming. Hello. Yes, Marble Manor time, and I do have my good friend, Rev Simulation, down in Discord. Yes. He is the good friend of mine at Clatimer's family. Uh, he is the amazing streamer slash person that altered this map for me. Yes. He has made it so this map is multi-fruit. If we go and scroll through here. Here we go. What can we now do on this map? Yes, we can do carrots, onions, coffee, mustard, triticale, rye, tomatoes, coffee, and rice. As well as factories now has been implemented into this map as well. Which is fantastic. And there you go. Pinned in the comments is Rev Simulation's channel. Please go check this guy out. He is an, am an amazing streamer and an even better friend. So, we can now do sunflower oil, cheese, flour, wooden planks, sugar, whatever this bleeding thing is, uh, the barrels, uh, biofuel, and all sorts of goodies. But, we did stream this for a little while yesterday, and I was asked to put rice in field 11. That is now done. Field 16 was asked... <laughs> Four. Uh, thanks for that war code, truly appreciate that buddy. Here is another guy that you do want to follow on YouTube. Warco Entertainment, that is W-O-R-C-O -O space entertainment. Please go check that guy out. He does join us occasionally on Ghost Hunters Corp. He joins us on American Truck Simulator, which should be tonight. So make sure you don't miss that one out. We're going to be playing American Truck Simulator with myself, Rev Simulation, and Warco Entertainment. So make sure you stay tuned for that one. It's going to be one heck of a ride. So... Oh, and there he is, the man, the myth, the legend himself, Warco. There you are. How you doing, buddy? Hope you're having an amazing day, mate. So, what are we going to do? First things first. If I get my short, fat, stubby little legs over here. There's Rev as well. Here he is. He is in uh, Discord. But Oh, there's me, Alice Chalmers. I have had to swap out my case early riser planter. And um, what have we swapped it for? Well, we swapped it for the Cavernland DG2, I think. Something like that. But there's my sexy little, f oh, sexy little feet. Look at it. It's tiny, isn't it? Look at it. It's gorgeous. Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, it's up there, Rev, my man. LOL. Tian Rees, how are you doing, buddy? Hope you're having an awesome day, mate. If anybody doesn't know, please. Go check out my friend Tian Rees, Red Viking. He is over on Twitch. Please go check him out. Show him some amazing love and support. As you do the short fat man. Please go check all three of those guys out. All amazing content creators. So, that's what I did. The DG2 Kvernland thingy. That's what we've got. Thank you, dude. You are more than welcome, mate. I always help out friends. Uh, so, guys and girls and guys and girls, what are we going to plant? Uh, we have f some fields available. 
Let's have a look at what we've got. So what have we got? We've got tomatoes in 15. Uh, Ron asked for tomatoes in 21. I did also get, like I said, asked for rice in field 11. We've got uh, coffee in 16. Mr. P likes his dirty bean water. But what field do we have available? Let me know what we're going to plant. We do have field 1 available. We've got field 5. A nice big field over there. And we've also got field 2 and 3. We do have 17. That is a paddock. So we could possibly look at planting some grass. I have put in a nice mod. Uh, we could also put in some corn. Because uh, where are you? Oh, look at the gleaner. Oh, look at this beast. It is gorgeous. Look at that for a Galena. Mm. Nice. Uh, we've also got some old John Deere harvesters. But where is... Not you. There is something in here. There it is. The Shaffer Bulcher. All you need to do is put the big header on the front. And this actually clicks it as you're going along. I mean, how good's that? Look at this thing. It is a beastie. Nicole Dunn there, my beautiful wife. Thank you very much, sweetie. Truly do appreciate that. But look at this thing. Oh, it is gorgeous. You can uh, chaff your corn, and it goes straight into there. Holding capacity of 44,000 litres. Extending material. Do we really need it? <sighs> Don't know. But that is pretty cool. Got to say so myself. From the short fat man. Yeah. Right, so, guys and girls, what are we going to be planting? Let me know what we're going to put in these fields. We've got field, like I said, field five, just over here. Nice big field, you know what I mean? Uh, we've got fields two and three. We also have field one. What are we going to plant? Because we can do... <laughs> oh, jeez, trust you. Unfortunately, I can't do that, my dear. Uh, we can do wheat, barley, actually, what... <laughs> What are we in the... Right, so right now, what we can plant is wheat, barley, oats. Uh, we can do canola, sunflowers, uh, potatoes, sugar beets. Not really going to be doing them, but nah. Uh, we can do grass. Uh, we can do carrots, coffee, onions, millet, mustard, sorghum, tomatoes, rye, or rice. Hops. There is actually a mod for hops. I don't have it installed, but you can make beer. So I can, I'll can, i actually look into putting that in. I'll do that tomorrow. I will actually get the hops yard put in so you can make beer. But you can make beer. There is a hops yard. <laughs> it's a mod. Potatoes. Do any of my things plant potatoes? <laughs> mustard, sorghum, rye, rice, wheat, carrots, onions, millet, coffee, mustard. Uh, you don't. I don't think the other one does that I've got either. Uh, I can do potatoes. It's fine. We can just buy what's needed. There we go. So, I need a potato planter. Where are you? Potato technology. 170 horsepower required for that. Oh. Uh, three meters. Yeah, why not? There we go. We're going to do some uh, fine onions. Coffee. Jeez. Right, well, we brought the potato planter, so we can do that a little bit later on. Let me know. <laughs> but, right, do you want do you want potatoes or do you want onions? Which would you like, my dear? And coffee? Yeah, we can definitely do coffee. What we'll do is we'll go uh, get a worker to do it. <laughs> Good. Do potatoes, then. Okie dokie. Right, so that will need... A hefty... I'll show you my tractors that I've got. I've got a sexy little Alice Chalmers 200 crop hustler. Mm, yes. Fookin potatoes! Alright, we're, we're going to do some potatoes. Alright. If we go around here, we've got some nice other little ones. Look at these. Oh, they're... Don't look at the dirt, alright? Minneapolis Malene. 
We've got an old style Minneapolis Marine as well, the UB. Over here we have the International Turbo. And over here we have a sexy little John Deere 2510. Ooh. Right, so, my dear wife, what field would you like potatoes put in? Preferably because it's a small machine. It'd probably be either two or three, but it's entirely up to you. Which field would you like potatoes put in? You can always do field one with potatoes or field 25. It is entirely up to you. And uh, then we'll ask Tian Rees what field he would like uh, for coffee. Gotta have the coffee. Gotta have it. It's gotta be done. Oh. Get over that. LOL, 2 or 13. 13? I don't own field 13. Do you mean 2 or 3? Well, 3 is the biggest one, so we can do it in there if you want. But we don't own field 13, that's down there. <coughs> Damn, yeah, we don't own field 13. How much is field 13? Probably a lot of money. Oh, 95 grand. Sugar cane just for us. I don't have two then. So disappointing, Mr. P. I know. And yet, yeah, not doing sugar cane. I don't have any of the machinery to do it. I just don't have the machinery to do it. Let's get on the old sexy little international then. Hello, I'll be right back. Okay, okay, so field two for potatoes. And also coffee. Tian, my friend, what uh, field would you like your coffee put in? Um, why does my chat keep going? So, field two for potatoes. So we have fields three, five, um, three, five, one, and uh, yeah, three, five, and one, because four has the factories in. So, three, five, or one, my friend. Uh, uh Got a little something for you, sugar cane, actually. Send it later. Oh, nice. Looking forward to that. So, Tian, uh, what field would you like, buddy? Uh, field two is for potatoes. And uh, obviously, we need more dirty bean water in the ground. So, it's either fields, fields, fields five, one, or three. Walk we'll in there with a hello, hello nigga. <laughs> well, hello. Uh, there we go with a new follower, William Dixon. There you go. You get the big fat thumbs up. Thank you there, William. Hope you're having an absolutely awesome day. And I'm sweating like a pig. Whee! The short fat man is getting warm. Oh, let's build the old map. Where are we going? That the way we're going. Oh, so we've got 66 grand. That's actually not that bad. Hopefully this can pick that thing up and not tip. Guess we'll find out. Uh. All right. <laughs> I think this is gonna be pretty heavy. Might see if there's a, a weight. Yeah, we're gonna have to try and see if there's a weight for this thing for the front. So that's gonna be uh, bloody heavy. You get one on. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, with you with your new AC. Customize. Want some weights? Yeah, that'll do. There we go. Has that cleaned it? No, it hasn't. Ugh. They could have at least cleaned it, couldn't they? <laughs> well, hopefully, with these weights on it, it won't struggle, says the short fat man. But yeah, Marwell Manor. Oh, with multi fruit. Ooh. Gotta love it. Right, so 
let's top up. Here we go. And we're up there with a hello, everyone. Right, so let's crack on. Let's get to this field. Field two. I want to say field two. Yep, field two. Brain like an absolute sieve. So we'll crack the old course play on the old potato planter. We'll keep an eye on it. He says. I still don't think you're heavy enough. I think Cosplay is probably going to uh, struggle with this one. Ah, <laughs> good luck. It's going to need it. Could have always put the old big uh, tractor on it. G uh, no, 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 no. Oh, you absolute sponge. It's not heavy enough. It's too... The tractor's not heavy enough. Oh, you suck. And flies, will you fuck off? Do one. Oh, come on. Not messing around. Get over it. There we go. Yeah. You're too heavy for my tractor. So, flies, will you get lost? So what we're going to have to do is going to have to get out the old big tractor, the old Fiat. Absolutely massive for this thing. But, what can you do? Unless there is a nice, cheap, bigger tractor that we can get. Probably not. 51, 60. Uh, 151. With full weights. Uh, okay. Come on, game. Are you going to load the truck there, or are we just going to stay at an empty warehouse? <sighs> uh, what does this require? How much horsepower? 100 and. Flies! 150, but we need a heavy tractor. Hmm. It's got 180. That's not a bad track down. I think this might actually have more than enough weight behind it. That leaves us with 20 grand, and I am going to buy an additional weight, I think. Just to be sure. Uh, 1,000. Have we get the 1,600. There we go. Well, there we go. We brought a new tractor. Sexy modded Deutzwar for 180 horsepower. That'll definitely do the job, won't it? Hey. Eh? Oh, all these old machinery. I really do think that they need to make more stuff for vintage machinery. Like, with FS22, when they bring that out, Make a vintage DLC. I want to see a vintage DLC. Do you want to see a vintage DLC? I know I do. Right, so let's pull this here. I'm going to have a sexy little quick look at that mod Deutzvar. Here it is. 180 horsepower for the Agco Alice, or the Deutz Alice, whichever you want to call it. Uh, let's just grab this, make my life easier. Put it near the front. Because I can. Hey. There we are. Looks ugly as sin. But, does the job. This is a big old beastie, and it's cheap. Oh! Lovely. How's it look inside? 
Junky as hell. And again, flings you to the side. Great. But this should do the job. 180 horsepower. It wants to be wants to be heavy enough. It should be with that front weight on there. Yo, that Koalis. Look at it go. What a beautiful beast this is. It is sexy little tractor, isn't it? Hey. We will need, of course, to get the big Fiat out and uh, cultivate this field first. But uh, we can get prepared. So how's everyone's day been? What has everybody been up to? And potatoes need to be in this field. So what we'll do is... It's really weird. No... Uh, that's weird, but whatever floats your boat. I'll take it. That'll do there. It's got no three-point linkage on the back, but it can still pick it up and it glitches in the wheels. Eh! Can't be as bad as everything else, can it? So, right, let's crack on. Where are you, big boy? There you are. Let's disconnect from you. Get the old engine going. Bring out the old tiger, mate, that we've got there. There we go. Going out in the fear again. For anybody that hasn't seen, look at this. Oh, have you ever seen this fear? I've not seen anybody use it. And the call there with a uh, hey Rev, hey Walko. Whoa, slidey Bob. So we're going to be putting in more coffee and. Potatoes. That's field two is the one on the left. There we go. Come on, big. Come on. There we go. Get straightened out. Get this opened up. And what am I doing? I didn't need to be that close. God, let's swing around again. Should make light work of these fields, shouldn't it, really? If not, there's something wrong. Right, let's get it lower down. Oh, and the old Fiat going. Oh, look at this. Smooth as you like. Oh. So we'll get this cultivated. We'll then get the old course play in the little tractor. Oh, no, actually, we'll get course play in this. And we'll get that over in one of the fields to do um, coffee. Here we go. Mm. I love this uh, Fiat. Can't remember where I got it from. But damn, is it nice! Right now, there we are. Mm. I can say we do have the big harvester for carrots and onions, and we can get a header that will fit that for potatoes. I'm not entirely sure 
how much that is money wise so guess we'll soon find out put the old cruise control on where has this tractor been all my life where have you been Got a fan on, I can barely feel it. The short fat man doesn't do well with heat. See, the inside of this cab is a little janky. A bit weird. They're trying to say that the facing the out the back window is the front window and the front window is the back window. But you drive outside a cab, it's fine. Like the Deutz over there. Weird, but looks nice. Has a weird invisible three-point linkage at the back. I'll take it. Cheap, cheerful, and powerful. And that's what I like. <laughs> that's sounded wrong on so many levels. <sighs> I cannot feel that fan at all. I might have to move that fan in a minute. Just can't feel it. And I'm sat here sweating. Better dressed all in black because that's a smart move when it's a muggy day. Said nobody ever. There we go. <laughs> uh, what did you say? I didn't hear it. Uh, about what? I said a fair bit. I've just seen how weird this tractor is. When you go to sit in the cab, it basically turns you the wrong way, like the back window's the front window, the front window's the back window. It's weird. Oh, yeah, I said I like it. Uh, it's uh, cheap, powerful, and weird. Or something along those lines. Now you're gonna have to bear with me for one second. I've got to go sort this fan out. I'm sat here sweating like a pig, and I cannot feel that at all. Whew. There we go. I can feel the fan. Oh, it's beautiful. That was horrible. Sat there, absolutely sweating. Got a fan on, and I could barely bleed and feel it. There's, there's nothing worse than being hot. I'd sooner be too cold. At least you could put layers on. I'm like an onion. Lots of layers, and I make you cry. Oh, dear. Alright, so that is that field done. 
And whilst that little tractor's plodding along in this field, we're going to uh, get sorted in this field. Alright, so there we are. Just turn the engine off. Get the old course play going in this. Get some potatoes in the ground. I can vouch on that one. Yep. Uh, that you can, my dear. That you can. Right, so. Again, for anybody that doesn't know how to use course play, here is a quick crash course whilst I'm doing potatoes and I'm setting one up anyway. So. To bring up the old course play menu, what you do is you right click on the mouse. <coughs> you then go over to here where it says fertilize and seeding. If you're doing cultivating or anything like that, you go to this one. But because this is the implement we've got, this is the one that shows up. So here was what we are on just here. Course, uh, copy course, course generation and calculate current fields edge path. So course generation is what we're going to need. If we go like down here, you can see we are in field two. So we go up to the top right, and it says field edge path. If we go to where it says field two, you scroll across, and uh, that's what you need. Current vehicle position, that is fine where we are in the field. Starting direction, automatic, leave it at that. You can do it manual if you like, like north, east, south, west, and things like that. Uh, bypass islands, there is no little islands or any patches of grass that we need to worry about or anything like that. Skip rows, that is obvious. Do we want it to skip a row and then come back on itself afterwards? Don't really need to. Uh, headlands, uh, I always do around headlands. You do have a round, narrow field, short edges. Around, obviously that's a given, it goes around the edge of the field. How many times do you want it to go around these headland passes? Let's say we want it to do three headland passes. It will go clockwise. Start working on the headland passes first, or you can have it go up and down first. Uh, headland corners, I make it do smooth so it slows down just as it's going around the corner. Uh, headland overlap, that's how much it obviously overlaps on a headland pass. And field center, up and down. Once it's done the three headland passes around, it will then begin to go up and down the field. Seems fair enough. Uh, I gotta go do work stuffs. Okay, beautiful. Stay safe and uh, just, yeah, just keep me updated, sweetie. Stay safe. Stay safe, my dear. But that's pretty much it. What you do then is you make sure the working width is. As you can see, the right hand side it says 3.0 meters and uh, working width 3.0 meters. So click on course generation and then in the map on your field it will show a course that it has plotted for you. You then click on back, of course. And where it says start course at, what you want to do is make sure that you select on there first waypoint that is important make sure it is on first waypoint so what you then do is you reverse just in front of the little blue arrow that you can see there that's your starting point telling me that I'm gonna go straight down that way if you want to see your full course that this is gonna go if you go into the little cog uh, where it says show waypoints if you click in the center one that is white that will then show you all of the course that course play of course has loaded in for you there you go look at that so then what you do is you go on here make sure first waypoints selected as I said then click on drive course then click on the X or if you want to get rid of these horrible little beams click on the one again and they will disappear and away you go course play has been done is generated the fields path for you and away it goes and it is gonna do this field on its own so it's not like a hired worker you don't need to worry about it just doing up and down and skipping everything which is always great
Uh, let's swing around. It's going to be a lot of potatoes, which is good. Let's go across here. Get this old bad boy lowered down. There we go. Needs to be done. Do think there's an obstruction in this field up that yeah. So of course if we do go to use course play in this field, uh, where it says like islands or things like that, it's got simple or circle. Simple it'll just go up to it like this and then it'll try and go around it. Circle is it'll drive up to it, circle around it, and then of course get straight back on its path and continue with the up and down rows. Hopefully that helped from the short fat man. Fingers crossed. You never know. It might have done. But too, course play is so handy. Just like follow me. That is so handy. Especially if you've got a fair bit of machinery. Or oh, the store deliveries mod. I love that one. I very rarely go to the store anymore. Go without a care in the world. Oh, that little Deutschwar's getting on with it, isn't it? Not a bad little tractor. You know, mods has it glit as its glitches, and it doesn't look like it's got an invisible three-point linkage on the back. But 180 horsepower for how cheap that thing was. Oh yes, please. I will take that all day. But we get to see cosplay do its thing. It should be doing the uh, set amount of headlands we asked it to do. Fingers crossed, I did it right. So I don't know everything. I will get things wrong. No, I'm only human. But it should do what I've asked it to do. Theoretically. <sighs> and for anyone that is new and has just come in, I do have Rev Simulation on Discord. So if you want to say hi to Rev, feel free. He is here and he can hear you. Whoop. Well, I did a pretty good job of that, I think. I'll take that. Here we go. going on? Why is my headphones all of a sudden not got any sound? There we go. Dodgy. Don't know why it's doing that, but it's to their own, I suppose. So if you do play Farm Sim, what's your favourite map? I love my world manor. Uh, Sussex Farm. I love playing that one. That was the first, Sussex Farm was the first map I ever played on uh, FS17. And I do believe that was the first farm sim content I ever created on PS4. Look at the old Deutz Alice, look at it go. Or Agco Alice, Deutz Alice, whatever you want to call it, it is there doing a great job. 180 horsepower, I'm telling you. 
bargain. That's it, you do those potatoes. But yeah, let's have another quick look at that. Alice, it's in medium tractors. Where are you? There it is, the Agco 6 190, I believe. There it is. For 43,500, you're getting 180 horsepower. And for 280, it's an extra 500. Bargain. Bargain. Did I need it as powerful as the last one? No. That's why I got the lower horsepower one. Don't need it that powerful. So we've got the big old Fiat. I, I want to use it as our, our, me, our main big tractor. You know, for the likes of the cultivation work and the big planter that we have. Getting dive bombed by Daddy Longlegs. Old Alice is getting on with that, isn't it? Right, down we go. <laughs> so I was asked by Tian for more coffee, so uh, we'll plant that. And then I think we'll head out. Possibly, I don't know what we should plant, maybe some corn? I don't have a corn header for my harvester, I don't think. I can't remember. It's been uh, a whole yesterday since I streamed it. Or should I say this morning. Rain like an absolute sieve as Mr. P. Let's just wipe that off my screen. There you go. But yeah, if anybody wants a list of what mods I'm using in this series, uh, let me know and I, will, of course, will make a mod list of what I'm using. I can't remember where I got it, but I can tell you what machine it is. Not a smart man by any means. <coughs> but I'm sure if you've got the name and you put FS19 mods, I'm sure you'll find it. But have you ever seen this? A big Fiat. Looks gorgeous, doesn't it? I'm trying to think, I think it's like 550 horsepower, something like that. It's got a fair amount of horses under the old hood. Just kind of remind me of the big bud setup. I'm getting dive bombed by Daddy Long Legs again. It's just that horrible humidity in the air. Just brings them all out. And I can see I have missed a strip, so we'll go around and get that. Where are you? I know you're here, I can see you. Somewhere. That might have been it, that might not have been it. I don't know. Short fat man's getting warm. Jeez, oh, and I've got a cushion on my seat. And it's like sitting on a brick. I think we'll do more coffee in that field. Because we've got coffee in this field, I believe. <sighs> it should fetch men any heat. Not a good mix. You 
can stop there for a minute. International, I know you will be able to do the uh, job on masking. So let's get you fired up. I'm going to say the old Minneapolis Moline uh, did some planting for us yesterday. So it's only fair this old girl gets a run out. Uh, we've got that one. Oh, we've got that one. We'll use this small one around here. So I don't think my other planter there does coffee. Makes me sad. So I do believe we've got four planters now, but one's for potatoes. Right, let's change that. We want coffee. There we go. Close to the old back, in it. Oh! Then what we'll do is we'll get in the big field, we'll head over to one of the big fields and uh, do some work. I'm thinking about planting some grass. We do have this field here, but it's mainly a paddock. Or, yeah, it's a paddock. Paddock, meadow, grazing land for cows, whatever you want to call it. Could always take the grass out of there. But I doubt we're really going to get a lot of grass from it. I do have a lot of silage already. Do need to check the cow's food. That's uh, a given. Right, so international. You are required to do here. So, in here, course generation. We are in course field three. Headlands, we want. We'll do three passes. Uh, vehicle position, starting direction, automatic. Bypass islands. Because this has a little island on it, field three, what we'll do is we'll put activate and we'll go circle, so it will circle around it. Always handy. And uh, yeah, everything else is fine. Headland passes, all done, overlap, smooth, three meters. Generate, and you should see just here. Here we go. It has circled around where that little island is, which is fantastic. First waypoint, always make sure you reverse a little bit. And let's just quickly check where that activation point is going to put us. That way. Okay, and there we go. So there we are. Then what you do, drive course, jump off of there, jump out, and let this happy little person go around planting coffee for you. Oh, look at that. So we've got the sexy little doits, uh, Ag Ag Alice, what do you want to call it, over there doing potatoes. We've got the sexy little international over there with the Amazon, and we are going to get in the big boy, of course, the Fiat. Let's go. There we go. Do I have a Capello header? I don't. Mmm, okay. I've got to make sure I don't. Alright, so we've got that header. Nothing around there. The one in here. Nope. We've only got the case trying to spray it. We do need to do some spraying. First, I want to concentrate on getting fields done. Oh, onions. Could always do some onions or some carrots. Let's go over here. We'll get this topped up. There we go. Little money. 
Right. What shall we do? Onions, millet, coffee, mustard. Never done mustard. Let's do some mustard. Why not? Let's go. Let's get some mustard done. We'll get that done over here in this field. There we go. Nice big field of mustard. Ooh. Hopefully it's profitable. <laughs> he says. Never can tell. Uh, straighten that a little bit. Right, get it turned on. Get it lowered down. And away we go. We'll get this field done. Nice big field in all fairness. Something on my lip. Hmm. I absolutely love that I can now got all this other new stuff in game. Well, for this map, because with uh, FS22 just around the corner. What are you looking forward to? I'm really look. I'm weird. I'm looking forward to the build mode. Really, I'm looking forward to the build mode. You know, with the fences that you don't have to mess around with. You can just drag and click and drag. We've needed that for so long. Rev Simulation, if you're there, what are you looking forward to for FS22? Uh, there somewhere I know he is All right. bear with me for just a second And uh, Walker, if you're watching, buddy, I just got that. Yep. and removing of the rocks. Yeah. You forget you're in Discord? You must be busy. Nope. Oh, there he is. Yeah, weirdly enough, I'm looking forward to picking up rocks. But everybody said that about weeds, and now how many people has weeds turned on in FS19? Not many. I was never one of those fools to say anything about weed. Yeah. Nor the liming. Mm-hmm. I think they should bring more livestock to the game 
like the the modded versions you know you got ducks and um, goats and things like that I think we should have had more animals you know but that's just me probably me being fussy I still find it weird about the whole Zeta thing. It's just really confusing. Work needs to be refilled. Really? Okay. Which one? Is it you? Yes, it is. Right, okay. Your time to shine. Alice Jarmas, here we go. Let's reverse up. There we go. To the old. Uh, is it Umberfirth? Yeah, Umberfirth. Got something right. So this is a nice little mod. I love this mod. Oh. I'm a sucker for old mods. Absolute sucker for old mods. <coughs> Still can't believe that other tractor wasn't heavy enough. This one isn't powerful enough to do the potatoes, unfortunately, but looks nice. But we now do have a nice new uh, Agco Alice, I suppose. Unexpected. I say the old big fear is it's just too big for that potato planter. We can go see how the other work is getting on. He's not doing bad, is he? Look, look at that. Okay. Let's just stop the driver for now. There we go. Then if we go on here, next closest waypoint, reverse a touch. And it should carry on with the course that was plotted. There you go. Let's fold that back in and we'll go over here and see how this is doing. Gonna need to leave this over there anyway. And I knocked my mouse because I'm smart like that. Hmm, how are you doing on seed? Did I miss a piece? <gasps> Missed a bit. 61%. Uh, now you're alright for now. Look at it go though. Nice. I don't often use the old, uh, the uh, the Amazon, 
the small one. But so far, it seems to be doing all right, doesn't it? Eh? You're fine for seed right now. You've just been topped up. How you doing? Looks like you've done one, two, three passes and now in the up and down rows. Great. Right, we'll crack on, get back over here. And hopefully you were putting in mustard. He says. <laughs> yeah. And down we go. And like I said earlier, don't forget though, myself, Rev Simulation and Warco Entertainment are be going to be are going to be doing a multiplayer convoy on ATS tonight. That is one not to miss. If you do, where have you been? What you been doing with yourself? And get from under your rock. I'm also looking forward to the fact that they got factories already in the game now. Yeah, you can make bread and cake. <laughs> I'm sure it's bread and cake. Uh, a lot of people, the likes of yourself, Rev, will like the fact that Seasons is toggleable. Rev Simulation, for anybody that doesn't know, does not like Seasons. When it first came out, I wasn't a big fan either. But you get used to I it. I find it makes the game boring for me. Really? Yeah, because I get everything done in the first friggin' day, and then I'm sitting there fiddling with my thumbs and nothing to do, and I have to I have to fast forward time to get to having something to be able to do. Well, slow and seasons down. Put it on fun. like three. And that's even put it on three. Jeez. I'm a grinder. I grind. I I stick to it, and I I bust out stuff. And mm. when I do. I, I get through stuff too fast, and it makes it where there's nothing to do. Damn. Buy more fields. And once I get to that point, oh yeah, when you first start the game, though, you can't. You, you don't have the funds. Oh, well, Unless you yeah. cheat in money. Unless you cheese it, yeah. No. But it's like, no. You know, I just, it doesn't appeal to me. Not in the sense that I have to get everything done. You run out of stuff to do, and then yeah. you're just sitting there. And it's like me, me originally being a console player, the likes of yourself, Rev, you was a console player uh, in yep, the beginning. And, Xbox. and um, I was waiting for so long for seasons to come out on console. It's like streamers like myself were trying to find ways to make it like we had seasons, but we didn't. It was so difficult. And then when Seasons came along, it was like a breath of fresh air. But you can only do so much on console. It's like, if they'll have the likes of a simplified version of Follow Me, that would be awesome. If they have a simplified version of F11... I know they say that, you know, you can't get scripts in uh, console. Seasons is a script. Precision Farming is a script. It's all scripted to do what it's supposed to do. Give me F11. Give me follow me. All follow me is it basically tracks where you've driven and repeats it on another vehicle. That's that's what it is. It's a script. It basically copies where you've driven. And course play, uh, also course like play on console that, would be nice. I also like the fact that they turn around in one of the videos that we watched, um, We've listened to our our people, you know, our, our people that play the game. The community, and we've yeah. We've implemented stuff that you know they've been asking <clears> for. <throat> well, okay, you've implemented seasons. Okay, that's only been being asked for for what two versions of the game? Yeah, Whereas, I don't think it was ready. I don't think it was out for seasons. Well, I know it was there for seventeen, and of course nineteen. 
Yeah, we're playing <laughs> two versions. Yeah. Um, but we've all been asking for Follow Me to be put into the game for years, since 13. Yeah. FS13 came out. Okay. How many years ago was that? And That's you're sitting here saying, oh, yeah. we've listened to our constituents and, you know, we're implementing stuff into the game that y'all have asked for. But yet, you're not actually putting in the stuff people really want. It's like I have heard a me. lot of people, like, like the likes of myself, ask for old vintage mods. Not every farmer in real life is going to be able to go out and go, right, I'm going to get a brand new tractor. I mean, farms nowadays are probably going to get one second hand or, you know, <laughs> or something vintage. Give us that option. I mean, there's a mod for second hand equipment. It turns it second hand, makes it cheaper. Why can't that be implemented in the game? The shop's already there. The pricing's already sorted. All you've got to do is... Obviously, change an icon or two. Make it look a bit older. Worn down. Put some rust or dirt on it. I mean, look at the state of this thing. It's absolutely filthy. But it's a tractor. It's meant to get dirty. Not every farm can have brand new tractors. I mean, I know some farms around near me, they've got some really old Massey Ferguson's and a real, there's a really old Ford floating around somewhere, I've seen it. Not every farm has brand new tractors. They're like, oh yes, for FS22, you're going to have all new this, that and the other, the brand new one of this and that and this and that. Well, give me some old stuff. If you have to make it as a DLC, make it as a DLC. Give me old equipment, that's what I want. Vintage, rustic. Spend more time on your maps. Because to me, Ravenport and Felsbrunn. We're all let down? Yeah, not that great. Stancho, Lapacho. Yeah. Not bad. But. Spend as much time big. spend as much time on your map as you do making the tractors. I was not big on the fact that Ravenport was made out to be the American map and it was dirty then and covered they in trash. Around and they put trash everywhere. Yeah, like that it being flighted. Smack in the face to every American. Every American. That's making Americans look like we live I in the I heard a lot about that, and the other one, Felsbrunn, is that, that that one was in Germany, was it? That one was pristine and really clean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah, I, I, I found I, that to be very disrespectful being an American myself. You know, I don't I, I don't appreciate being portrayed as someone that lives in Phil. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I heard you know, a lot of people that were angry about the fact that why is it that Ravenport, the American map, looks like it's just been fly-tipped? But yet, Felsbrunn didn't. It was very disrespectful. Um, I do, I do think that was uncalled for to do that. Hmm. Because I did hear a lot of people complain about that. I said the wrong button. <laughs> and I do think as well they need to make more stuff. For smaller machinery like some lower powered balers and you know older harvesters like really old harvesters like equipment like cedars and planters for existence they are the worst right you want to run an old vintage map and vintage equipment base game you're probably limited to about two or three pieces of machinery probably four or five that you always end up having to go to just for the small machinery because there isn't that many options that have been made by giants for it and that's by giants not the modding community by giants I mean do I love farm sim of course I do but do I wish they spent more time on things that actually matter 
I mean, they say, yeah, olives, grapes. That's not new. Somebody made a mod for that. There's a made map for grapes. There's a made map for olives. Um, that's not new. Somebody made, as a mod, the broad that harvests grapes and olives. It looks exactly the same as the one that they've made for FS22. Uh, the likes of Seasons, that is not new. Is it new to base game? Yes. But it is not new. Yeah, everything they've put out that they're claiming is new to the game. Um, even the, even the, uh, the tracker, what is that, the Zeta tracker? Z Z Z Zeta Crystal? Something like that? Yes, it came out in FS15 when the Estancia, uh, when the uh, Sosnovka map came out. Mm. Okay, it was implemented then into the game. That's not new. Don't claim it as new and say, "Oh, it's a new tractor," you know, to the mm -hmm. game. Blah blah blah. No, it's not. It's not new. Don't tell people something's new when it's not. The only thing I have, well, there's a couple of things that have been Im implemented that I'm happy about. You know, the likes of factories and things built into the game. Yes, that's new. It's not global company and things like that. It's been built into the game. Um, you know, rock picking, that's a big one. That is new. Yes, that's new. But what else is new i mean what else is really new to say yes like I'm, I'm excited about the editing tool but that's not new you was able to use the editing tool was it janky as all hell yes it was but it was still in there i mean what do you want to see from fs22 i want to see vintage equipment that's what i want i want stuff that are actually new i want more animals I want to be able to see the difference between the male cows and the female cows, you know what I mean? I want to be able to, when you're unloading well, your livestock, see them come out of the trailer into the paddock. Seeing the difference between the two male versus female on a cow, um, that's kind of not going to happen due I know, to appendage. sentencing. Uh, yeah. Mm, yeah, I know, but like, no, just like give it Sensor bigger chair. horns or put like a, a ring in its nose or... Something that defines it from the other. You know what I mean? Because with seasons, it's, it's weird because it goes, oh yeah, you know, you can get a, a dark coloured cow, but unfortunately it's got to be male. No, you, you can get coloured female cows. Why can't I get that in the game? Hmm? Yeah, and oh. it, it, it's just, I don't understand that. It's like seasons. I think it's with seasons. If you give your cows straw, you only get manure. If you don't give them straw, you only get slurry. Well, I mean, in real life, you, you can't exactly look at your cow and go, right, I've given you some straw. Now, I don't want you to take a wee. You're not allowed. I've given you straw. You're only allowed to take a poo. No, 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 no wee. You're just not allowed. I've given you straw. I mean... Makes no sense to me. No sense whatsoever. <laughs> it's like telling uh, the time to stop going forward. You just can't do it. I'll tell you what, this old uh, Cavernon DG, pretty good on the old seed usage. So you are you excited for tonight then Rev? ATS convoy? Oh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah. For anybody that mileage. doesn't if anybody doesn't know, please go check out uh, the previous stream I did on uh, ATS. As well go to the uh, pinned comment, Rev Simulation. Uh, also he did a live stream of it as well. It was hilarious. We had the likes of myself, Rev Simulation, Warco Entertainment, and Seba. So, 
also, you've got Mr. P, the you know, maniac driver. You've got Worker, the you know, and maniac in training. Uh, yeah, I'd say. And then you got uh, me, the get shit done driver. And you got Seb as the quiet one. Yeah, and then you got Seb as the really quiet one. But, but I'm more of a in cab, mm -hmm. point A to point B type driver. I love, I like drive. Don't get me wrong. I love driving in cab at night. You know, you got the lights, the hum of the engines, and things like that. But at at daytime, I do like getting out of cab, seeing the visuals around you and the surroundings and things like that. I mean, I'm just probably weird. I have got a lot better no. at driving in cab though. Gameplay wise, though, you, you're more hammered to the, you know, hammer it down and, and get it done mm -hmm. uh, and all over the road type driving. Hey, whereas all of the roads are my road. <laughs> whereas to me, I'm more of a stay in my lane, you know, take it easy, mm -hmm. watch out for others, and just like relax driving. Yeah. Which. I understand some people are, are more into wanting to watch somebody that's, you know, carefree and just, you know, crashes into everything <laughs> care. A.K.A. Me. Which that, would, <laughs> that would be Mr. P. <laughs> and, and, and there's some people that just want to watch somebody that's laid back and chilled, mm. which would be more the, my the, style. The but. realism aspect of, fire of it, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I'm more, when I play... No matter what I play, it's more of the realistic style. Yeah. Um, now, every now and then, like, even on Farm Sim, I will do some stuff that's a little out there. And, you know, <laughs> Wild. You know, ain't realistic. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, I try to stick to a, you know, a standard play. Yeah. So if people want to come and watch us, you've got a choice of watching crazy driving and relaxed driving. Which makes for a good blend. It's actually. weird though, because we complement each other so well. You've got the laid back, relaxed rev simulation, and then you've got the short, fat man, Mr. P, that's a an absolute firecracker, and you don't know what's going to happen next. It, it's a complete makes, weird mix, but it, it does make for a good laugh. Which, yeah, it does make for a good laugh, but it also makes it a little more interesting for me when we're playing ATS because <laughs> I never know what's going to happen. <laughs> is that a good thing? I'll be driving down thing? the road and I'll be in front of him and the next thing I know here he is flying at the left side of me and you know he gets up ahead about you know 10 or 12 car lengths and he could accidentally hit a car and it make a traffic jam for me. Oh, I got, Seb I got Seber a good one yesterday. Uh, I caused a oh. traffic accident at a roundabout. You should have heard. Oh. Him, you should have heard Seba cursing me out. No, oh, because of the roundabout. <laughs> <laughs> he had a lot of fun with the roundabout. Yeah. And of course, working with me got uh, messed up in that in a roundabout uh, as well. Mm. Um. Of course, he was also trying to go to the left, to the right side of the road. When we it's it's the like left. um, when you know that you had that uh, that that truck pull in front of you, wasn't it? And you literally had to swerve to the right, but because I was on your right, I was trying to stay out of the way. You ended up swerving straight in front of me, which of course I, I slammed know, my brakes on. I didn't on. swerve to the right. I didn't swerve to the right. I hit the rear end of that truck full on. And, and it, it flung you to the right. Me to the right. Damn. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh great. Yeah, because there's me to the right hand side, you're thinking, oh well rev simulation's on the left, it'll be alright, I'll be on the right. No, it wasn't. I looked, Slam I me brakes on, didn't I? Slam my brakes on. Yep. And I looked away for a split second. I mean, just a split second. I just turned my eyes to look at something for a second, looked back up, and there was a truck. I was like, yep. And there's nothing worse. Happen. You're doing it, and you you got to like, look away for a second, or you've got to scratch your nose or something. You know something's going to happen. As soon as you're taking your eyes off of that screen, that's it. It knows. It's like, oh, you're not looking at the screen, are you? Have some of this. <laughs> uh, 
I've had some. I've had some incidents. Inc incidents. Incidents. Yeah. Yeah, my brain doesn't want to work with my mouth today. Oh, mine never. <laughs> mine mine never funny. does. <laughs> yeah, come watch the stream later. You get to watch me, you know, babble on mm. like a fool. Right, I do believe that is this field done of mustard. Oh wow! I'm gonna feels... for a minute. I'll be back in a minute. Okie dokie. All right, so we've got field two. Wow, that a koalis really is. Need to be refilled. Who does? You do. Ah, oh, okay. And you've got six percent in potatoes, so I'll stop you as well. Uh, let's. Okay. Yes. All right. Let's fill these up. You're empty. You're still waiting. Okay. Oh. There we go. Wow, this worker's done an awesome job, hasn't it? Look at the potatoes! Let's... Okay... Hello? Empty! Was weird. Well, my video editor does not like gifts. No, some doesn't. I mean, I'll put it in, but it has no animation and it's really screwing me up. Mm hmm. I will be so glad when I can afford to get Filmora. Yeah. I bet. Alright. Alright, drive course. Should. That Agco Wallace really is a nice tractor. Hmm. Alright, let's go fill this one up. Some more dirty beans going in the ground. And then we'll quickly head on over there, see how they got on, see how, we'll show you how course play did circle around the old island over there. There we go. So let's just stop the driver. Open this up. Uh, thanks for that like Jason, truly appreciate that buddy. Truly appreciate that. There you go, the big fat thumbs up. Absolutely brilliant. Right, why the fuck are you not filling up my track there? Hey! Look at Billy! Because that's realistic, isn't it? Up. 
Get this closed. There we are. And away we go. Just jump out of the old Alice Chalmers. Oh, look at it. Stunning. It's gorgeous. Shoot your mouth, you saw nothing. Is the line you are there? So let's get this back on point. We want next closest waypoint. Crack on, get your job done. There we are. Sorted. And left the indicator on. Need to change those key bindings. Great. <laughs> right, let's go over here, like I said, and we'll just go check around this island and uh, show you exactly what it's done and what it's about to do. There you go, you'll see it go around the island. Nice. But there you go, as you can see, it has gone around the island. Not doing a bad job, is it? Eh? And it should now continue the line straight across, straight down. Jobs are good. Un. <coughs> fill this thing back up with seed, I think. Not really going to need it for anything else. Now, our co-alice there, doing all right. We've just planted uh, some mustard. Which is always good. Ain't gonna be far off, and that field's gonna be done. I'm thinking about doing a big field of either onions or carrots. Ooh. We'll have to look at putting some hemp in, or some hops to make our own beer. Even though I don't drink now, haven't for you, haven't for a while now. I'm a big boy now. Don't drink. <coughs> what have we got? Not bad. We need to top this up with seed though. Got 18,492. That's not a lot of money. But we need seeds, so the sooner I have this topped up than not. There we go. Open that up. Get some seed. Do need to be careful because we also need to get lime as well. Close that. Did a crap job of that, didn't I? Here we go. Swing around again. Wrong one. I need that one. There we are. Be better. We'll just pull this up here for now. Leave it on there. Nice. Look at me, truck. Oh, it's gorgeous. Look at it. Alright, so what all fields are left? You. Uh, nearly finished. We've got field five that needs doing. Hmm. What time is it now? Nine o'clock. Oh, we're going to be doing the multiplayer around ten o'clock. So. 
hell are you getting on? Why are you not letting me get in there? Because you've ended your trigger point. Of course, you should still be able to let me jump in there. There we go. Alright, so you are done. Let's uh, stop the driver. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And uh, let's check how they've done in the field. And this Adco Alice is a really nice tractor. I'm going to have to see if there's anything we can do about the old three-point linkage at the back, because that looks uh, suspect. But still, for 108 horsepower, and for 40-odd grand, nice. I will take that all day. Is this how you do potatoes? Nope. Is this how I do potatoes? Yep. There we are. Lift that up. That's it. <sighs> See how they did on this corner. They've done alright on that corner, look. What did they screw up on that corner? How did they do on this one? That little bit there. Okay. That's not bad going in all fairness. Let's uh, get that drop down. Get the titties in the ground. There we go. Oh. Of course, play hasn't done a bad job, has it? Eh? Got potatoes in the ground. Alright, let's head this back to the farm. The old international over there is still cracking on, still getting that done. But look at the new tractor we brought, the old Agco Alice. An old beautiful beast, isn't it? 180 horsepower, 6.190. Is a bit janky on the old three point linkage at the back. Uh, bit suspect. But. It's alright, isn't it? Does the job. <laughs> do, 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 do. Not bad steering. Hmm. Yeah, but still, gonna have to try and sort out the old three point linkage on the back. We'll take it into the old workshop, see what we can get done. I love the machinery I've got on this. Do need to get some fertilising done. But we've only had 16 grand left. Ooh. What I think I'll do is I think I'll reverse this in here. We'll put you over there. There we are. Liquid fertilizer is going to be expensive. Can we get a three point linkage on the back? Because it just looks weird. Design. Okay. Front loader. No. Design. What's that change though? I prefer that. Wheel setup, wheel brand. God, that's really close to the old uh, rims, isn't it? Oh, look at them rims. I like them. It's a bit janky. 
It does look like the old back axle needs pulling forward a bit. Like to central to here. Oh. Engine set up, 280. 180, 280. 180 is going to be more than enough. So, if you can't get a three point linkage for the back, that is really weird. But, it's alright. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to get possibly one of our fields sprayed. Uh, with some fertilizer. Do need to get that done, so we'll move this big beastie out of the way. There we go. Just pull this out of the way. There we go. Nice tractor. Gotta say, nice tractor. But now it's time for this, the Case Trident 5550. Ooh, nice. Here we go. I think size six. Oh. So we need fertilizer, which is the blue one. Money go down. <sighs> uh, what is my variable spray rate at? Try and save myself some pennies. Mm, 300. <laughs> no. Do 100 per hectare. Save myself some money. Go. Right, so liquid fertilizer done. Let's open this bad boy out. It is a long beast. Right, let's not you. Not you. Not you. There we go, we'll lower that down. That's it. Then of course get rid of that because that's set to right click on mine. Let's Get fertilizing. Spread some goodness on this field. Lift it up a little bit. Hey, change that. So, what does everyone think of this case trident? Nice tidy mod. <laughs> Gonna be nice to get some more fertilizer on this just to give it that better chance. Uh, in the next growth stage, I think we'll probably look at slapping some more on it. I'm not going to do a fantastic job, but at least the main lot of it is going to be covered. Uh, 
that thing away for a minute. Okie dokie. Cruise control on. See, this makes light work of this field. Can't remember what I've got planted in here. Oh, watch out for that. Like I say, I'm not going to get the full coverage, but as long as the majority of it's done, then, you know, I'm happy with that. <coughs> Won't be too long, and that international will be done in, uh, in the old field over there. How's it getting on? Can we see it? Just in the distance, you can see it just going across. Poor little pig. Oh. Okay, birds. Well, whatever floats your boat. Oh, he's just reached his ending point. Look at that. Good timing. So what we'll do is quickly turn the engine off. And uh, we'll jump in there, get that back to the farm. We'll crack on with this field, get that knocked out, get it saved, and that will be the end of the stream. And then, of course, around 10 o'clock, between 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock p.m. UK time, that's GMT, uh, 5 o'clock uh, in uh, Rev Simulations time. He lives in Florida, so that would be... Uh, his time would be 5 p.m. I'm not sure what the, the the short term is for that. I'm not I'm not entirely sure. Eastern time is it? I don't know. Here we go. The old tractors make short work of it, don't they? Oh, look how dirty this thing is. Poor little thing, needs a wash. Jeez, look how big that case sprayer is compared to this old thing. <laughs> oh dear. Alright, let's go. I'm really surprised about that. No three point linkage on the back, but janky as anything. But 180 horsepower. Not bad, not bad, not bad. There we go. Park it just there. If anybody doesn't know, we do have an old International Turbo 1466 Farmall. Uh, we do have two Minneapolis Moline tractors. We've got the 61, uh, the G1355 Minneapolis Moline needs a good clean. Minneapolis Moline as well, UB, the old girl. Uh, and we of course we've got over here the John Deere 2510. Nice. The new one, the Agco Alice. And of course we have our Alice Chalmers just down there. <coughs> Try and save up some money and get a bigger combine if we can, like a, a Gleaner. Right, let's get in here. So 
has this looking cap. Oh, nice. Not too bad in cab, is it? Look, really nice, comfy, all the usual bells and whistles. Probably using a lot of. Uh, oh, actually, I wasn't over spraying that much, in all fairness. Okay. Good job I got spray usage down. Alright, let's wing around. Look at that beastie. Ooh. Got a throat like the desert. <laughs> so I do believe there is now only one field left to do. We'll scoot down this side, why not? Keeping my eye on the old edge. I'm frugal when it comes to spray. <laughs> Trying to save me pennies. That's a little piece. Is it? Or do we need one, or one more strip? Just not the whip of the boom, is it? Alright. I can take that. One more pass after this. And then short fat man can run outside naked and cool down. Sweating like an absolute pig. There's <coughs> that piece. Give this a little bit here, because it'll kick my OCD's ass. There we go. Let's watch as this does its magic. Look at that. Gorgeous. Nice 
So does this feel fertilised? We'll need to get another fertiliser stage put on it. Maybe. I'll have to have a look. Just pull that there. But let's throw in a sneaky save. There we are. So, fertiliser wise, what have we got now? Turn you off. Okay, so that's its first fertilised stage, is it? Hmm. Oh, wow. Field 5 has no fertiliser on it whatsoever. Hmm. All the fields need fertilising. Wow. 11 definitely needs fertilised. But, that is for another time. I want to say a massive thank you to everybody that, of course, did turn up today. Truly do appreciate it for the likes, the shares, the new followers. Absolutely thank you. Till then, I will see you between 10 and 11 o'clock tonight, UK time, as we, myself, Rev Simulation and Walco Entertainment will be doing a convoy on American Truck Sim. Till then, I will see you 